This is Jay Anthony with Marquis Malaspina with another review. Today we're going to take a brief look at a Louis Vuitton uh, men's wallet. Um, this is uh, one of their standard wallets. Um, they've had these uh, in their line for quite a few years. Um, and uh, depending on the configuration you get, they range um, from the mid 300s to over $500 US typically. Um, it's uh, again Louis Vuitton canvas. Um, that's right, canvas. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that the uh, the monogram canvas pattern like this is actually made out of leather. Um, it is not. It is canvas that has a, uh, a protectant on it to keep it waterproof. And if we look inside, it's uh, a pretty compact wallet. Um, you can see you have a couple slots over here for credit cards. Um, there's a place over here for driver's license. Um, any of their IDs you want to put in there. Um, underneath both sides you have little pouches right here. And right there. And then of course in the back um, you have a place for bills. Um, honestly if you put more than about 10 bills uh, in the bill fold area here and you try to fold it over um, it actually doesn't want to close. It's not meant to hold a lot of items. And that actually is something to take into consideration if you want to pick one of these up. This is not the most practical wallet. Um, for comparison's sake let me give you like a cheap $20 wallet like right here. You can see that they're basically the uh, same size, but if you look at the amount of storage space that all well, that like this will offer you, and this of course is made out of leather as well, um, you'll see that this is a much more flexible wallet. Um, again, this is not something you buy for practicality sake. It's something you buy because you appreciate the brand, you appreciate the craftsmanship, and uh, you like the style of it. And that said, you can hold a couple of pairs of credit cards, a uh, driver's license, and some a, little, a few bills and you'll be in good shape, but this is not something you're going to be stuffing to the seams with stuff. So if you overstuff this wallet, you're going to rip it apart. Um, if we look down here, we can see that it says uh, Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. Um, yes, Louis Vuitton does make stuff outside of Paris. Um, this wallet was made in Spain. That's not uncommon. Um, it's uh, um, got the textured feel as it does on the outside on the inside as well. Um, it is my understanding that the inside is made out of leather. Um, that said, it's unlike any leather you've ever felt before. Um, there is a soft leather-like lining um, in the billfold section. And you can see all this is hand-stitched. It's beautifully done. All the stitching um, is beautiful. Um, and then again, that's why you buy a wallet like this or anything Louis Vuitton. You're buying it because of the craftsmanship. So this is something that somebody took care and attention to stitching um, and that's something that you know if you're into fine craftsmanship it's something that one would appreciate um, and it's just the way that the, the whole monogram is balanced um, you can just see the attention to detail is quite pretty um, I'll give you a sense of the pattern there for you um, this is a wallet that I've had for about four years and um, as you can see, it's uh, held up reasonably well. Um, I tend to take very, very good care of my things, but um, as is typical with uh, most Louis Vuitton canvases, um, perhaps you can see it on camera, it's actually started to split at the seams um, from age. Um, and uh, actually at the top too, actually it's on this side, we can see that uh, it started to split up here as well. The glue's come undone. Um, this is something to be expected when you're using uh, a Louis Vuitton item made out of canvas day in and day out. Um, but as you can see, overall it looks pretty good for daily wear for four years. Um, and if you're a fan of the monogram canvas, which obviously I am, I picked this up. It shows pretty nicely the way they balance it. I like the fact that it's got one LV on the front. It's got one in the middle and then one on the back. I just think that that's got a, a nice symmetry to it. So. If you're in the market for a Louis Vuitton wallet, again, they range from about three to five hundred dollars. Um, as you can see, if you take care of it, and I take very good care of my wallet, I always keep it in my front pocket. It holds up pretty well. Um, but again, this is not the wallet you're going to buy and put a bunch of stuff in. This is for a couple cards, a couple bills, and that's basically it. If you're going to cram it with a bunch of stuff, you're much better off buying a twenty dollar wallet for day to day. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe.